up to 25% of pregnancies will result in miscarriage. Let's talk about how you can avoid miscarriage in early pregnancy. Miscarriage is a term used for a pregnancy that ends on its own within the first 20 weeks of gestation. Most pregnancy loss occurs in the first 13 weeks, the first trimester. The majority before you even know you're pregnant. This occurs when a pregnancy is lost shortly after implantation, resulting in bleeding that occurs around the time of your expected period. Miscarriage occurs because one, the embryo is not viable, meaning the baby dies and your body spontaneously aborts it, or two, your ovaries are not making enough progesterone to maintain the pregnancy. Progesterone is the key hormone to preventing early pregnancy loss. When you ovulate, the egg leaves behind what's called the corpus luteum, a little cave-like organ. The corpus luteum produces progesterone to maintain the lining of your uterus so that if the egg becomes fertilized by sperm, it can implant and stay safe within your womb. Once fertilization occurs, the first few developing cells that will become a baby produce a hormone called HCG, human choreogonadotropin. HCG is what you measure in a urine pregnancy test. HCG is super important because it keeps the corpus luteum alive. The corpus luteum must produce progesterone for a full 14 weeks to keep you pregnant and prevent miscarriage. So it's the embryo's job to make enough HCG to keep your corpus luteum alive to make enough progesterone to prevent early miscarriage. If there's something wrong with the developing embryo, that's it's incompatible with life, then it will stop producing HCG and your body will spontaneously abort it. Spontaneous abortion is the medical term for miscarriages or early pregnancy loss. The developing embryo lives off its yolk sac until the placenta fully forms. The placenta feeds the baby and acts as a filter to keep toxins from the baby and produces vital hormones to keep the pregnancy going and the baby healthy. After 14 weeks, the placenta takes over progesterone production to maintain the pregnancy. Most miscarriages occur because your corpus luteum is not making enough progesterone before the placenta can form. This is called a corpus luteal defect. Now remember, if there's something wrong with the developing embryo, then your body will spontaneously abort it. But if the embryo is healthy and developing normally, yet your corpus luteum is not making enough progesterone, then you will miscarry. You can see if you make enough progesterone before you even get pregnant by getting a blood test about one week before your period is due to start approximately day 18 to 20 in a 28 day cycle. This is also how you can tell if you're ovulating. If your progesterone level is over six, you are ovulating, but it needs to be over nine to be making enough progesterone to maintain the pregnancy. The higher, the better. You can also have your progesterone blood levels checked with your HCG as soon as you know you're pregnant. The best way to prevent miscarriage if you're not making enough progesterone is to take progesterone. Unfortunately, most doctors will not prescribe progesterone until you've had multiple miscarriages. That is a shameful loss and it's very hard on you. I've seen women suffer through six to eight miscarriages before getting the help they need. For my patients with corpus luteal defect, I prescribe progesterone from ovulation until 14 weeks gestation. Again, if the embryo is not viable, progesterone will not keep you pregnant. But if it is, and you can see that by monitoring HCG levels in the blood, then the baby's okay, then progesterone can prevent early miscarriage. Navigating pregnancy is so hard on your own. Did you know we have a free hormone support group that you get access to when you sign up for our hormone reboot training? It is totally free and you'll get the support you need. So what's the best way to take progesterone to prevent early miscarriage? I prefer to prescribe transdermal bioidentical progesterone as it's most convenient for my patients. They can begin using it as soon as they've ovulated to prevent very early miscarriage and we can easily adjust the dose to keep their blood levels up. Oral progesterone is never used as it gets changed by the liver and it is not as effective. Injectable progesterone is available but has some downsides. There's few dosing options, it's painful, and it's very expensive. Compounded bioidentical progesterone can also be used to safely maintain a pregnancy. Transdermal progesterone is a great option but it must be compounded in a liposomal base for the highest absorption to keep your blood levels up to maintain the pregnancy. 
It must be applied to a vascular fatty surface for best absorption. I recommend applying it, the liposomal based transdermal progesterone to the inner thigh area. It must be taken twice a day to keep the blood levels stable and continue use for a full 14 weeks until the fetal placenta can take over progesterone production to safely maintain the pregnancy. Over-the-counter progesterone is not effective. Progestational herbs like chaseberry have not been proven to be effective. Only bioidentical progesterone in prescription doses can help you avoid early miscarriage. I'll see you in the next video.